lifted to a new dangerous level after police found surveillance shots of officers during raids in Townsville. Three alleged members of the rebels, including the president, were arrested. Police say the images are highly concerning. Police had been watching the trio since December. They had no idea the gang members had been watching them. But to have police officers monitored by these guys inside and outside of work, in my mind, should send a shiver up everybody's spine. Officers raided their homes this morning. At one address, they found disturbing material. Surveillance shots of two serving officers based in Townsville. They won't say where they were taken. At this point, we've got photographs which have been taken from various locations which we're still investigating. They were blown up and laminated. It is of concern to us that those activities and that kind of conduct is occurring. The police union wants the law to change. I'm very concerned and I need the government to act and act very soon to protect police and make it an offence for bikies to uh, gather intelligence upon police. The police who were targeted have been notified. These people have families, they have neighbours, they have coffee with us in restaurants, they play in our playgrounds and they are being watched by the worst of the worst also seized weapons, ammunition, drugs and rebels paraphernalia. It will be alleged the three men, including the president of the Townsville chapter, met at a gym on two occasions. That's not allowed under new anti-bikey laws. Uh, this government, though, will not be, um, will not waver, will not blink. We've put in place these laws. They'll face court tomorrow. They need to understand that we're not going anywhere. Carly Waters, 7 News. On the 40th anniversary, Cyclone says he filmed and posted the encounter because he's tired of being pulled over by police since the new anti-bikey laws came into effect. Before you said you hate police, is there any reason you hate police? Because he pulled me over 21 times. For oh, no really? reason. Yeah. The absolute overkill of six police cars and 13 police for one guy filling his bike up. These officers are polite, courteous, even apologetic. So I'm sorry it's going to inconvenience you, but at the present time we'll soon expect that. I am apologising to him if, if it's fact that he's been pulled over 21 times since these laws have been put in place. On his first day back at work, the Premier was reluctant to get involved. Those are operational matters. The government's got nothing to do with, uh, uh, with the way that the police are exercising their responsibilities. I'm not apologising for what my officers did. I want them to go out and police these laws to the full extent. Jamie says if he's pulled over again, he'll ask if he can record what happens. By using the camera or using a phone to film it, I think it's going to make the interaction a little bit better in your favour. Jeff Bruch, 7 News. Mystery surrounds the disappearance of...